guys this is Ayush Renath from Pixelated Studios today I'll be showing you how to make an iPhone app uh, basically in Coco Studio that follows your sprite and your background would move accordingly it's basically used for RPG kinds of games and mainly where you have to follow your sprite so I'll create a new project and Coco Studio application. I'll name it maybe follow. Follow anything would do. Okay, now I have it up and running. I need two pictures. To show you, I've got these two pictures and I'll drag them over to my resources folder and copy. Okay, now I'll go to my hello world layer.m and delete all this. Maybe I'll keep that CG size and size thing. So first I'll create a CC sprite, I'll name it background, CC sprite, sprite with file and file is wallpaper.png I think, uh, it's jpg, make sure that your extensions are correct otherwise your app would crash as soon as it launches now I'll position it self or uh, maybe after writing CG size I'll position it self dot set position CCP and X coordinate would be self or maybe self dot size sorry it's size dot width by 2 and size dot height by 2 I think I have put the wrong spellings no they're right okay now I'll add the sprite or onto the screen add child and background first part is done now I'll create another sprite called my player sprite CC player or so, sorry so CC sprite sprite with file and this would be maybe icon.png that um, this picture contains that Coco Studio icon and I'll set its position self set position and maybe I'll copy this I know I have an error here I need to put background dot set position CCP and then all that and here I need to put player set position and then all that next I'll add self add child player now I'll make a CC action name it action equals cc repeat forever I'll change this to id cc repeat and repeat forever sorry for the spellings and all repeat forever action with action cc sequence actions cc move by or cc move to 
action with duration uh, duration would be like 8 seconds 8.0 F and CCP maybe 800 and 800 800 uh, I'll keep the X axis to be constant or I'll keep the Y axis to be constant so that it moves only horizontally okay then I'll make this come back to its original position CCP I'll copy this position I'll copy this position over to here and then close all the brackets now I'll run this action on player player run action action okay now I'll show you how this runs so it's compiling and when it runs uh, the sprite would be moving with and the wallpaper wouldn't be moving but we need uh, and at one point of time your sprite will go off the screen which you don't want that's what I'll show you after I run this program there's just two more lines of code to make that happen hope it doesn't crash okay so it's moving and now it goes off it goes off the screen and you don't know where it is you don't want this and you want your CC sprite your sprite to remain in the center and and you want the rest of the background and everything else to move okay for that you'll need to write ID action maybe action 2 equals CC follow action with target and this target would be sprite or uh, okay it's player player close this and I'll delete this I'll directly run it on self self run action and close the brackets here and that's it now I'll run it again and this time the wallpaper would move and your sprite would remain constant on the screen so the the sprite is constant over here and your wallpaper or the background moves and the sprite doesn't move it's great for RPG games as I told you before and you could use this principle to build your game and thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe bye